Police clash with pro-Russian protesters in eastern Ukraine. The latest sign of rising tensions that are rippling out through Europe and across the Atlantic. Outside the White House, hundreds of protesters send a message to Russian President Vladimir Putin. We condemn Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Inside, President Obama orders the West's first sanctions against Russia, visa restrictions, and certain financial penalties, and he declares that a referendum permitting Crimea to secede from Ukraine and become part of Russia would be illegal. Any discussion about the future of Ukraine must include the legitimate government of Ukraine. On Capitol Hill, the House voted overwhelmingly in favor of the first U.S. aid bill for Ukraine's fledgling government. Senate lawmakers are working on legislation as well. Overseas, EU leaders suspended talks with Russia on a wide-ranging economic pact and a visa deal and threatened further sanctions if Russia doesn't quickly engage in talks to end the crisis. Illegal actions committed by Russia cannot pass without a response. And I made very clear today that it cannot be business as usual with Russia. Secretary of State John Kerry met again with Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov, stressing the need for direct Russian-Ukrainian dialogue and the importance of allowing international monitors into Crimea and eastern Ukraine. Ned Barker, Associated Press.